Picking the best controller for PC comes down to personal taste and, often, your history playing games. I know a lot of people who prefer either Xbox or PlayStation controllers because they grew up with those consoles, so that's what they're comfortable with. We've done our best to accommodate options for all types of players, so you can pick something great that fits your style. Number 1. Xbox Wireless Controller the Xbox controller has been the default gamepad for PC since the Xbox 360 era, before manufacturers cared to streamline their controller's compatibility on PC. Despite the fact that you can choose any option, the Xbox wireless controller still feels like best controller for PC overall. Its well-balanced weight, wide grips, and offset analog sticks guide your hands into a comfortable grip. Its buttons feel snappy, and its D-pad has a tactile clickiness to it. For wireless users, the Xbox line of controllers gets 2.4 GHz wireless support via the optional Xbox wireless adapter. But the real secret for the core Xbox controller is the price. At $60, the Xbox Series X S version of the controller is cheaper than most of the other options on this list, including the Dual Sense. If you go for an Xbox One controller, which is almost identical, you can often shave down the price even more. Between the comfort, build quality, and price, the Xbox Wireless controller sets the standard against which all controllers are judged. Number 2. Xbox Elite Series 2 Controller the Xbox Elite Series 2, our pick for the best Xbox controller for PC, is the kitchen sink of controllers. Microsoft's pricey, feature-rich version of the Xbox One gamepad has almost every luxury option you can find in a third-party controller, including four removable paddles that can be mapped to mimic any controller input alternate analog stick and D-pads that you can pull off and swap on the fly, and a wireless charging dock because it has an internal battery, which means no more AAs. You can also remap the controller's buttons and fine-tune certain inputs using the Xbox Accessories app. At $179.99, the Elite Series 2 is very expensive, but it's also the best version of the best controller. It may not be for everyone, given the price, but it's a worthwhile luxury for players who want the best of the best. Number 3. PlayStation DualSense Controller The Sony DualSense, the controller for the PlayStation 5, is an outstanding evolution of the company's past DualShock controllers. Its long handles situate your hands perfectly to use its symmetrical analog sticks. The buttons and D-pad both offer a tight response. And it has a host of cool new features including haptics that mirror tactile effects and resistive triggers that tense up to mimic the feeling of a bow or gun trigger tightening. It's the best PlayStation controller, and the one I'd use if I wanted a gamepad with PlayStation-style layout for my PC. The magic of using the DualSense on PS5 becomes a drawback on PC. Technically, the DualSense is fully functional on PC but very few games support its special features there, even when they have DualSense features on PS5. The features around wireless connectivity fall short of the Xbox controllers, it only connects wirelessly via Bluetooth, which can lead to lag issues. Its short 10-13 hour battery life also tends to feel even shorter when you're in the middle of a long gaming session. The DualSense is a great controller, but it's best enjoyed with a PS5. On PC, I would only recommend it for players who want symmetrical thumbsticks. Number 4. Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma Controller Razer's Wolverine line of Xbox controllers has always set a high bar for wired-only controllers. Their signature feature, at least in mind, are mechanical D-pad and face buttons that elicit a tactile click when you press them, like mechanical keyboard switches. The Wolverine's clickiness also informs you that the button has actuated, so you know a button's been pressed. The newest Wolverine, the V2 Chroma, is a true successor to the 2012 Wolverine Ultimate and deserving of the title Best Wired Controller for PC. Per the name, it also has customizable RGB stripes on top. It features six extra customizable buttons, 
four triggers on the back and two extra bumpers on top. It also has many of the features from the Xbox Elite Series 2, including replaceable analog sticks and trigger locks. If your PC setup is such that you know you don't need a wireless connection, the Wolverine V2 Chroma, or even the less expensive Wolverine V2, bring some good features to the table that other controllers don't. Number 5. 8 Byte Do Pro 2 Controller The 8 Byte Do Pro 2 is a great controller for the Nintendo faithful. While it features a modern shape and special features Nintendo would never put on a controller, it features the old school Nintendo button layout, features an style D-pad, and comes in an style finish on PC. It features an ultimate configuration app that allows you to fine-tune the controller's feel, remap buttons, and even create macros, custom button combinations, that you can assign to a single button. While it isn't without flaws, if you're hunting for a controller to use on Switch and PC, the 8 byte Do Pro 2 offers a lot of customization at a stellar price. Number 6. Power Enhanced Wired Controller When I was growing up, third-party controllers were, rightfully, treated as inferior knockoffs compared to the official gamepads made by the console manufacturers. In the last 10 years, things have changed. There are lots of premium third-party controllers but the cheap stuff is still around for kids, and parents, who need an extra controller, but don't want to shell out and pay an extra $60 or more for it. Regardless of why, if you're looking for the best budget controller for PC, the Power Enhanced Wired Controller is a good choice. It's significantly cheaper than the Xbox Wireless Controller. The buttons, sticks, D-pad, and faceplate all feel like they're made of a cheaper caliber of plastic than a premium controller. Despite that, though, it's durable and feels good to play with. Plus, it features a toggle for controlling the audio on a 3.5mm headset if you plug one in, and two customizable rear buttons. It isn't my favorite controller, but it's the best you can do at a sub-$50 price point.